Hey guys, welcome to this week's Saturday Night Special. This week we're going to be taking a look at Ghost Hunt on the PlayStation 2. So this is a game I picked up a few weeks back now, in fact probably a couple of months ago, it's been a while. And it's the first time I've had a chance to play it, so it's all fresh to me as well as you. So it's going to be interesting to see what this is like, if it's any good. I did read on a website recently, when I was looking for like a list of great games for PlayStation 2, this is supposed to be a really good game, so... Fingers crossed it doesn't disappoint. There are thousands of ghost stories, tales of suffering, loss, and rejection. To a few, it proved the defeat. An action game. I thought this was going to be like a Resident Evil, but I don't know. It looks like you could just literally go around blasting stuff, right? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's Got a little bit of slow mo. <laughs> right, Let's see how the game plays then. Hope it doesn't do too much of a tutorial. this place read the sign yeah what i meant was what i meant was what are we i know what you meant she likes me no doubt about it she likes me the act is kind of like Let's borderline say, uh, cheesy good ago, the detroit school i don't know i, I can't you like it <laughs> you probably didn't get it in the kalamazoo gazette night of a school play here some professor brooke murders 10 students and then scoots her wow. voice sounds familiar Vanished. No weapon ever found. No motive. All investigation ran dry six months in. Cause of death? Never established. Autopsies drew a blank. Not a mark on any of the bodies. Sounds like Cortana. What if it is? Seemed to walk into that night. Detroit PD took quite a mulling over it, so we respond to every crank call. The gun saw like this sure draws the freaks out of the woodwork. Makes even your average Joe skittish. So, <clears throat> so we had a call? Calls. Demolition crew with overactive imaginations. Hearing voices, scared of their own reflections. Anyway, let's just get it over with. I'll do the top floors, you do the basement. Cursory check, meet back here in 30. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, this better not be scare the little old country boy night. Okay, I bet you got a welcoming committee. Guys from Division down in the basement wearing Halloween masks. Uh, Body fresh off the slab, swinging from the rafters. <laughs> you think you're worth that kind of effort? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I look like a prankster. <laughs> Go to work. Thirty. Okay, thirty it is, partner. Mm -hmm. I look like a prankster. <laughs> First time I step one of Charlie's Angels, Jane Bond. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. 
Better check out the basement. Whoa. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Oh, okay, so you got a weapon wheel. Um, yeah, get off the floor. Alright, okay, while I'm bending down. No, don't fire your weapon, you tit. Oh, hang on. Move less with less analogue. Aim curse with the right. Yeah, I can't get that. Your circle turn to run mode. Try off first person mode. Look jobly. How do I stop him? <laughs> I don't know where I'm adding. Is, is somebody just like crouching down for no reason? Oh. Oh, okay, that's weird. Use the D pad up to stand up, down to crouch. That's just random. Why would you do that? Oh well, no, let's get on with it. Cool are you? Steel, is that you? Oh, I hate it when they do this in games in the pub. Freaky voices that just scare the shit out of me. Oh, doorway. Ah. Uh -huh. You check that? Nope. Down here, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's so optimistic in games, it's like, oh, uh, why not? We'll just go down and see what's down there. In reality, you'd be like, screw going down to the sewers. <laughs> Especially when you keep hearing those voices, I definitely wouldn't go down to the sewers. What's that? I like this, it's going to grab my foot or something. <laughs> oh, I'll go back down that one. Okay, controls are pretty easy, that's, that's quite well done. It's a bit of a strange control system, but it's, it's not too bad. You basically walk to the edge there and press X, and he clambers, as you said there, hangs, and you pull down on the, the analog stick and it'll drop. Bit of a strange one, but again, there's a video camera, so that's never a good thing. What is this place? <laughs> that's like classic survival horror, that is, isn't it? What is this place? <laughs> Best thing you know, it's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, don't get stuck in the corner, mate. What are you doing? Oh, I'll get down here. Jukebox. Yeah, you shouldn't have pressed that. Oh shit.
systems offline running at zero percent. All communication will terminate in T minus five. Initiate backup power. Urgent. Initiate backup power. I'm going to head for that door before someone attacks me. Initiate backup power. Oh, that's not good. Okay, how do we get over there is the question. It's a little bit dark. Ah, there we go. Initiate backup power. Back in the sewers. A lot of cutscenes in this game. Is he going to walk into his partner now or something? Yeah. Oh, as much. <laughs> I'm not predictable. <laughs> what have you done down here? Well, I found something. A machine. Well, it exploded. I, I just. Oh, great. I fell and I hit my head. I, I, I don't know. I. There, there must have been some sort of a gas or something. What are you talking about, Lazarus? Hey, you okay? Of course. Yeah. Just. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's that dude from the beginning, isn't it? I think it is. Ah, oh, shite. Right, let's go for it. What's that on the floor? Where's the case for them? That's the array. Alright. Let's have a look. Okay, it appears that at least 10 students and one member of staff are missing with eight confirmed bodies spread throughout both old and new facility buildings. There are at least five fatalities spread through the English and History Departments. The area has been called off and no attempt made to remove the bodies. Okay. Nice sound effect there. Well, wow, that's weird the way the camera's moving like that. That's freaking me out. No way, you can get up that ladder <laughs> a bit quicker than you are. Yeah. Ah, that thing does not look good. It ain't bloody friendly. Let's just fill it full of lead. <laughs> Initiate backup power. Whoa, it's getting fired. Oh, well, that was uh, using the energy, which is never a good thing. Oh, I've got more bug. I don't really know what the point of that is. No, it's not actually great, okay. Well, obviously, I must not have to come in this room next time, so. Okay, that going higher. 
could slide down this. Yeah, but what would I want to slide down it when I just come from there? It's got to be something to do with this room, hasn't it? It's not sure I'm supposed to just shoot that thing. That just seems to make it much different. I'm a bit confused as to where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do next. I'm just going to go back down in the sewers and see if we can figure something out because there's nothing going on up there. Gateways opened, woman found. Initiate training. Initiate no, training. No, 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 that's Initiate it. That's it. I'm out of here. That's a bit of graphics look pretty decent, isn't it? Nice direction of the bit. Ah, I hope you don't pick that up. Ah, oh. Yeah, don't make the lights go out of the car, so. Ah, here we go. It's like a super slope or something. The grenade anchors a ghost into reality. If inserted, it shows the spirit's energy and resistance. It makes real world weapons more effective and will capture a creature once it is sufficiently weakened. Okay. Pulse rifle, nice. Runs off ghost energy. Tap R1 for single shot or hold for charge up. Glock 16, 17, read your mind. Box 17 9mm handgun, standard police issue. Sweet. Oh. Hey, come on, what are you doing? Open the door! Initiating basic training sequence. Welcome. Alright, look. Here we go. <laughs> now you count to five. And then. Concurrent candidates enumerating strategy. Time is of the essence. Please listen. Your hunting must begin as soon as possible. One. In brief, your weapons are useless. You cannot kill that which does not live. However, you can contain the spirit. Two. The grenade has two functions. Firstly, it will enter the spirit into the realm of the living, allowing you to weaken it. Three. And second, four. The grenade will capture a weakened ghost, trapping it in your red. Five. Recognize nine millimeter firearm. Recognize threatening stance towards a digital entity. <laughs> you rational response. Candidate functioning with excessive nervous energy. Oh crap. 
Throw the grenade and it's like the trap and goes busters and it drags them in. That's pretty cool. Oh shit. Any bloody hell. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, how do I change weapons? Oh, we've got flashlights. Wait, not nice light effects. I've also got to stop calling it a flashlight, it's a bloody torch. Survival horror version of Luigi's Mansion. Grenade. Beautiful. Uh, 
I've still no ammunition. Damn. I've missed something. Aha! There you go. I know I've worked it out. obvious and you'll get further. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> God. Oh, well, I thought I was. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, there is terrible. There we go. No problem at all. It's a pretty sweet little game, I like this one. It's not as all as I expected it to be, anyway. Do not 
struggle. All I'm doing is thanking you. I can grant you every little sword and wish as long as you give me one thing. What thing? Well, there you go, guys. That's Ghost Hunter on the PlayStation 2. Um, gotta say, not bad at all. Seems <laughs> pretty good so far. I'm definitely going to stick with it and play it some more and see if I can get through to the end anyway. But um, yeah, it's not a bad little game that so far. So I definitely recommend giving it a shot if you're interested. So thank you for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you all again next weekend.